all right, let's chat, let's draw, let's have a fun time. Now here we are, I'm, okay, so this is a bookshelf, a classic, a staple of mine. Now, I've never drawn it with, I've always painted them. I've drawn them digitally on my iPad, but I, and then I've painted with acrylic painting, I mean with acrylic paint, but I've never drawn it with markers, which I'm just now getting back into markers, and, and so I'm getting used to them too, but I was like, you, why not, let me try, and here I am. Look, look at me just going for it. Like, just, I'm just hoping for straight lines there, you know? Um, but that's what I always do, and it works out, okay? And you know what I love about outlining? Is that you can hope for the best, and then you can just, when, when it doesn't work out, you just go back and fix it, you know? You just go for it, and then you just say, whoops, let me scribble, let me scribble to make that look like that I meant to do that. That's my favorite part. It's great. I'm using Copic markers again. I've used these in... I did, yeah, I did a video where I was using them. Can you hear my dog drinking water in the background? It's very loud. But you know what? You gotta stay hydrated. It's important. So, so, good job, buddy. What are we talking about? Um, yeah, I was like, okay, wait a minute. Some of these lighter colors, I won't be, if I, if I draw, I usually, I always draw the books first. Because with acrylic paint, obviously, you just layer, 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 layer. And it doesn't matter. But with these, I'm like, okay. So I went ahead and did um, the flowers first. Because I was like, I don't know. Do you know? I don't know. I don't know what to do. So I did that. And um, I'm kind of just drawing around them. I, I'm i doing just like pinks. You know, the classic. Another classic. I haven't done just a pink book. I did the Love Story bookshelf, which is all pink. But um, that was like very themed. But it's very similar to that. Also, all of this is in real-time drawing. I cut parts of it, but, like, I didn't speed up any of the clips. I started to, and then I was like, eh. Because I wanted a video for TikTok and Instagram and everywhere else. I've be... Listen, the list has gotten long of where I post stuff to. We have we have your basics, TikTok and Instagram, okay? And then, and then we have YouTube shorts now. I have Facebook, because I've rediscovered Facebook, that they have reels on there. And what a time that was. I, you know, I used, I started on Facebook when I, like, I started just selling my paintings. I had a Facebook page before I had anything else, business page. And I, like, forgot about it because it's like, who's Facebook anymore? But apparently, yeah, they're there. And, I mean, I get on it sometimes. But I just, I mean, in the, in the reels for Facebook, I guess, is, you know, whatever. And then also Pinterest. I've got like 17 different places, to, but you know what? I'm thankful for all those places to put, post them and that I can just post them all there. You know, the same thing. That's why I, I never post, I mean, I never edit within a certain app because like, hello, you know, you want to be able to post to a bunch of different places without a watermark of a certain thing. And so I just post, I just video on my camera or on my other camera, like, and then edit it and in shot. I used to have a captions app that I used, which I did recently, and that's great because then it has just the captions. It's called Mix Captions, I think, and you have to pay for it, but whatever. And that was before TikTok and Instagram Reels let you do the captions, but now they do. And I like the I like the captions within the apps, so I just I just add it to each whatever whatever thing whatever app. Shut up! What am I talking about? Um. What are we doing? Let's get back on track. Now, as you can see, the the caps are off the markers. And you may be like, you may be yelling at me through the screen. And, and what I say to you is, um, what are you going to do about it, you know? But <laughs> I'm using them all at once, you know? It's fine. If it's not, then that's on me and I'm dumb. And that's that would you that would be true. But anyways, look at all those rectangles. I'm trying to think if... I guess I could have added, I mean, the darker color, the darker colors I could have added later on top of the other, but it's like, you never know what a color is going to look like on top of markers. Cause I don't, I don't know. I don't know how this works. I'm used to paint where you can just, which I was trying to get used to that with watercolor too, but I'm used to acrylic paint where I can just layer and it won't matter. But now we're adding the greenery. Okay. I love adding leaves with these markers. It's my favorite thing to do. I could draw leaves all day. I could draw leaves on a vine what do you is that what that is a string of leaves a vine 
that <laughs> why is anyone here you know on my page I don't know I really don't sometimes I sometimes I wonder you know sometimes I look at my videos I'm like yeah this is amazing how'd you do that and then sometimes I'm like I listen to myself and I'm like what are you doing but you, that's where you just you just say what I don't know I'm just gonna be quiet here we go. After I did this, I was like, wow, you really went. See, you can tell I really like to draw leaves with these markers because I went, I really went overboard. But I wanted, you know, I love that overgrown look. You know, we're the, it is a bookshelf garden overgrown with flowers. That's how the first one started, okay? And sometimes I do the designs like on the books, like the design, like the books have floral designs. But it started out with the flowers on the books, like it's, I read a book recently. It's um, called For the Wolf. For the Wolf. For the Wolf, not the Wolf. The Wolf. Um, and the imagery was amazing. Like, um, it also gave me a nightmare last night. I finished it last night. I was like sobbing. Um, that's besides the point. But they're in this forest and it's like everything is overgrown in the, in the castle and everywhere. And I was like, I loved imagining like her room and everything. And also it was scary because I mean, it was scary overgrown, but also I thought of my bookshelves and I was like, I want to go draw something overgrown with leaves right now. And I love when things inspire me like that. You know, I love when a book can just like put all that in your brain, you know, anyways, but that's now that I'm looking at this, I'm like, yeah, that's, that's what this is. If it wasn't a scary overgrown bookshelf, you know, she probably did have a scary overgrown bookshelf. See, it was scary. It was also pretty a little bit until it wasn't. And it was like, yeah. But then they were like, yeah, exactly. Um, that book, I liked that book. I did, it did not make sense to me a lot of the time. I didn't understand the forest. The lore is very lore heavy and I didn't understand the lore very much. That could have been my fault because I'm bad at paying attention. But I did have fun and I love them very much. The characters. If you make me care about the characters, that's all I need, you know? You did your job and, um, and I'm proud of you. Because it could be, I don't care what happens, but if you make me care about the book, I mean, if you care about the characters, then I'm here for it. But now we're outlining using my micron pen um yeah i couldn't decide if i wanted to do like see i'm kind of outlining in marker and i already did that a little bit i added more details in marker but then i did i just i outlined it in black too with the with the other pen because i don't know it's just the look you it's, it's just i just decided to do it that way because i was doing some earlier with the gouache paint and i was outlining like with the same and like, which I love that look. It looks super cool, which I'm going to do a video about that too. But you got to like get the exact color, but like slightly darker. That's how I like it to look. So I didn't have that many colors with my markers and I didn't want to mix it. And I, didn't, I mean, I guess you can mix them if you, I, I don't know. I didn't want to think about that. So sometimes I just pick an outline color and go for it. Um, I don't even know if that made any sense, but. Does any of this make sense? No. Did you just hear my stomach growl? It did. I hope you didn't. I don't really care. It's okay. But yeah, I'm just outlining away. And the, I get caught up on like the details of the books sometimes, which is annoying. Cause I'm like, it's not like I'm going to write words on this. You know, sometimes people ask for like specific like books, like, um, I don't know, but I just, that, no, I don't want to do that, you know, because like, what would I write? What books would I pick? I would take way too long trying to decide. And then it's like, what if, what if, yeah, exactly. Thank you. Someone did say to do a Harry Potter bookshelf one time and I was like, you know what? That'd be really cool. Um, but like, not like I wouldn't do the books. I would do it vaguely themed to where it wasn't Harry Potter. But it could be, like it could be set in Harry Potter. Um, but I haven't, I need to do that actually. 
I need to think about that some more. Which I think my original one could live in Harry Potter. Or my, um, the spooky bookshelf. It could live in Harry Potter. But I kind of want it more like, you know, dark academia looking. Which is, again, how the first one looks. The original. The OG. The beginner of it all. Of the beginning. The, alright. You get it. Maybe you don't. Maybe, were you there? Were you on TikTok when that happened? That moment, momentous occasion? Is that a word? Momentous? Let me Google it while we talk. Sometimes I type things, or I say things. Um, usually happens more when I'm texting. It is a word. Um, <laughs> even if it's a word like I really not, like I know. Now I'm reading a text, I'm getting distracted. I wanted somebody to bring me Bojangles and nobody's gonna bring it to me. And, and you know what? That I respect it, but I really like some occasion filet biscuit, chicken biscuit with their yummy fries, maybe a bowberry biscuit for later. <laughs> uh, what I was saying before I got sidetracked was um, the details of the books I get caught up on. Yeah, yeah, I started talking about, I was like, cause you can't do the same one side by side. So my go-to is like the oval in the middle, but then sometimes it looks like a crayon, but then we're like, whatever. And then I leave just like little boxes because I'm like, oh, that's where text could be. And it kind of looks like a book. And some of them I'm like, does this look like a book? It's none of my business, you know? We're just going for the, we're just here for fun. And it's a bookshelf. I also, I just kept outlining. I just kept my hand though during this. It was hurting so badly. That's the only thing about all these outlining things with these little bitty pens. I need to get like a giant, like, uh, what do you, what, what were they? Like they're a grippy, a grip, a grip, a uh, thing. Were they called grippies? Did I make that up? <laughs> Remember when you go to the bookstore at the, um, at the library? No, at the, at school. What was that called? Book fair. That's what it was. And there's all these fun, like, you put them on your pencil and you're, but I'm like, could I put that on my pens? I need like a giant one. I've also seen people put it on um, their crochet hook. So like your hand doesn't uh, cramp into oblivion. I think mine would do that anyways, but it was cramping. And there were multiple times where I like threw my pen dramatically and it's too zoomed in to tell. And I think I cut it out. I think I tried to keep it in one, but, uh, and then I like flexed my hand like, ah! I don't know where that is. But it doesn't really matter. I also am just adding random lines. You know, when in doubt, add random lines. I like the texture on the bookshelf. Now that I'm looking at it here and reminiscing with you. Because, I mean, uh, you're not reminiscing because this is the first time you're seeing it. Unless you saw it. I posted it. I've, um, what I do sometimes if I only film on my... Sometimes I film on my camera and I film on my phone. Sometimes if I only film on my camera, which this I only filmed on my camera, I edit it on my computer as if I was editing it for a YouTube video, but then I send it to my phone. I edit it down even more on InShot, and then I post it to all my vertical apps, you know? But then I also keep this, and I'm, so I already posted that video. I did that last night, which I just did it to music, because sometimes, sometimes I'm like, I just wanna, I just wanna put music to this. Let's just, I find them more enjoyable to watch personally because then I don't have to hear my voice. Sometimes I, I like my voiceovers, but sometimes I don't want to hear my voice and I just want to watch myself draw to some music I like. So that's what I do with this. But now we're here for a voiceover. Um, but that's how I kind of, oh, and here's the moment. Here's the moment where my marker betrayed me. What happened? I don't know. And look right here. Wait, watch this. I wasn't even bearing down at all. What's that about? Why would you do that to me, Marker? What did I do to you? I didn't do anything. But that's just life, isn't it? You know? That's just how the cookie crumbles sometimes. I, I didn't know how to fix it. Because I was like, okay, this is stupid Marker. You can't layer on things. So how do I fix this? Because it's way darker than I needed. So I got a white paint pen. And you know what? It worked. And then I just kept going over it and I was like, okay, well, the top of this book is just going to be darker. 
and so I made the rest of it, to, I made it match, so it was fine. And then I decided to do the background, because I was like, I gotta do the background, I can't just be white, that's so boring. And so here I am, I just did this light color, which I love these because the light color, because I don't have to worry about it going over the, also I'm just here, I'm fixing that again, see? All is well. Um, yeah, there she is. I love her. Okay, bye.